Hi readers, welcome back to Storytime with Tristan. Join me today as we read Blooming Rose Blast Off, written by Lauren Pylan and illustrated by Kristen Humphrey. Read with permission from Lauren Pylan. A Blooming Beginning. Do you ever feel like giving up when something is difficult? Are there some things that come easily to you and some things that don't? In this story about a little girl named Rose, you'll see how she reacts to a school project that seems impossible for her and how she learns to soar. Your rocket launcher projects are due on Monday, Miss Williams shouted over the class. Hope you all have a blast. Oh man, said Rose. I have no idea how to make a rocket launcher thingy, much less how to make it fly. Experimenting is so fun, said her best friend Brady. Well, not for me. This is just not my thing, Rose said. Later at dinner, Rose admitted to her parents. So, I have a rocket project that's due on Monday, and I just don't have any good ideas for it. You have a big project that is due in two days, asked Mom. A rocket, asked her little brother Rex. That's so cool. We can blast off to outer space and look for aliens flying all around. I'll be lucky if I can get my rocket off the ground, Rose replied. Dad smiled and said, How do you think rocket scientists get their start? Everyone has to learn and practice to become really good at something. I'm going to find dinosaurs on other planets. I know they're out there, said Rex. That sounds a little dangerous, Mom said with a smirk. Rocket camp starts tomorrow, 9 a.m. sharp, Dad said. Ugh, Rose sighed. I was afraid you'd say that. To infinity and beyond, said Rex. The next morning, Rose dragged her feet out the door, looking at the random pile of pencils, straws, cardboard, index cards, marbles, erasers, rubber bands, string, tape, and glue. Rose asked, what are we supposed to do with all of this junk? Put your thinking cap on, Dad said. We're about to blast off. After playing around with different materials for the rocket, Rose found she was actually enjoying herself and enjoying hanging out with Dad. You think we're ready to test it out? Rose asked as she started to nervously count down. Three, two, one, blast off? They stared at the straw rocket that had landed at her feet. Oh no, now what will we do? Rose said. Anything worth doing is worth practicing, remember? Said Dad. I think the nose was too heavy. Let's try something lighter. What about this? Rose said, holding up a pointy rubber eraser. Won't know until we try, Dad said. I'm scared to let go, Rose said, with her eyes closed and ready for their second attempt. Three, two, one, better, Dad shouted, but it went a little crooked. Well, a fish swims using its fins. Maybe these tail fins steer the rocket, Rose said, digging for more tape. After a few minutes, they were ready to try again. Okay, Rose said. Three, two, one, blast off. Oh my gosh, it worked. That was stellar, said Dad. Let's do it again. Mom and Rex came out to watch the rocket soar across the yard. That's so cool. Can you show me how to make one? Asked Rex. Sure, said Rose. Let's start from scratch. On Monday morning, Rose skipped into school holding her rocket. Oh, hey, Brady, said Rose. Hey, Rose, I'm guessing you got your project figured out, Brady asked. Sure did. Watch out, Rose joked. Let's head outside for our competition, said Miss Williams. Rose's name was called in the last group. Her heart skipped a beat. Okay, Rocket, don't fail me now, she whispered. Three, two, one, launch, shouted Miss Williams. What a great job you all did, she said. According to my measurements, the rocket that went the furthest was Emily's. Right behind it was Rose's, and congrats to Brady, whose rocket came in third. Rose could hardly wait to tell Dad how their rocket did. Dad, Dad, you're not going to believe this. Hey there, Rosie. How did it go today, he asked. Well, we didn't win, Rose said, but we did come in second. She proudly waved her ribbon. Second place? I'll take it, said Dad. I can't believe I wanted to quit before I even started, Rose said. Hard work is something to be proud of, Dad said, and I'm proud of you. He started to ride off, but shouted back, Hey, Rose, why stop now? After dinner, let's build a race car. A blooming end. Have you ever had a time where you've wanted to give up before you even started? 
Everyone has different personalities, different subjects and interests they love and can't wait to try, and some subjects they'd rather pass on. It's normal to find some things challenging or more difficult than others, but it's usually in these times that we push through and become proudest of ourselves. Next time you find yourself in this situation, think about how you'd feel if you were able to accomplish it. Would you feel happy? Proud? I bet you wouldn't feel sad. Take your time to learn something new or try something different. And don't wait to ask for help. The result might just surprise you. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Special thanks to Lauren Pilon for sending us a copy of her book. Make sure to head to her website, bloomingrosekids.com, so that you can get your copy of Blooming Rose Blast Off and check out the Beyond the Text bundle of academic activities that goes along with this story. If you enjoyed this read aloud, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that I can keep bringing you more read alouds. And make sure to check out sistersbookcorner.com where you can find the books my sister and I wrote, request an author visit with us, and download our book extension activities. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.